Welcome to Sleepy Eyes. I am your host, Varga. I take you on a journey in the dark of the night with warm tales. Take a moment to relax your body and mind with the current calmness. Breathe deeply, feel the energy inside, and let go of any tiredness. Put aside the past and focus on the peacefulness of the present moment. Recognize any tension in your body. Allow it to fade away and unwind. Discover your inner peace and simply unwind in the tranquility of now. Before going to sleep, prepare to read a story comfortably in this peaceful setting. Let the magic of words captivate you as you get lost in a tale or story. With the warmth from this peace and relaxation, your sleep will become even more serene. Close your eyes, embark on a journey with a touch of words. Let each word guide you a bit deeper toward the essence of your inner peace. Now, relax and enjoy the pleasure of getting lost in the enchanting world of the story before drifting into sleep. From Ashes to Splendor, The Rise of Attil's Empire By Sleepy Eyes In the heart of the barren lands, where civilizations were mere aspirations, stood a man of indomitable will and courage, Attil. His broad shoulders bore the burden of an empire yet to exist, and his bright amber eyes reflected the fierce fire of dreams yet to be achieved. Through sweat and blood, Attil, with an unyielding spirit, began the daunting task of building his empire. Every brick laid, every wall erected, and every citizen recruited was a testament to his relentless pursuit of greatness. Plowing the frigid, unyielding earth with his bare hands, Atil's empire began to emerge from the arid wasteland. Amidst the harsh landscape, Atil faced not only the physical challenges of constructing an empire, but also the complexities of governance. As the city walls rose, so did the intricacies of political alliances and diplomatic maneuvering. Atil, once solely a warrior, found himself immersed in the delicate dance of diplomacy, where every decision became a calculated step in the evolution of his realm. Battle cries rang through the air as ambitious warlords sought to challenge what Atil strived to create. As a skilled strategist, Atil valiantly led his people into battle, his sword dancing a deadly and precise rhythm through the chaos. His heart thundered in his chest as he fought for his empire with a burning ferocity that struck fear into his enemies. But the true test of Atil's leadership was not only on the battlefield, but in the intricate tapestry of his empire's internal affairs. His chambers, once a sanctuary for contemplation, now echoed with the weight of political dilemmas. The same mastery that allowed him to command armies was challenged as he navigated the intricacies of maintaining the stability and unity of his growing realm. His closest allies were often his harshest critics, questioning his decisions and testing his resolve. How far will you follow this dream, Attil? They asked in the dark corners of his domain. Is this quest for empire worth the sacrifice, the blood? Atil's resolute vision extended beyond the city walls, where the wilderness attempted to reclaim its territory. His unwavering commitment to an empire of peace and prosperity faced continuous scrutiny. The whispers of dissent, street revolts, conspiracies, and economic challenges became a backdrop to the expanding kingdom. Yet Atil's determination to pursue justice and equality never wavered. Laws were enacted to promote fairness, and corruption was met with punishment, reflecting the ever-evolving priorities that mirrored the will of the people. In answer, Atil would gaze beyond the city walls, where the wilderness tried to reclaim its territory, and said resolutely, I envision an empire of peace and prosperity, a beacon of hope amid chaos. For that, all sacrifices are worth making. Rumors of street revolts, 
clandestine conspiracies and economic strife beleaguered his burgeoning realm, yet never did a tell falter. He pursued justice, not tyranny, introducing laws that promoted equality and punished corruption. His priorities reflected the will of the people, and slowly his empire began to prosper. As decades passed, Atil's leadership evolved, becoming a multifaceted role that extended beyond the realms of protection and judgment. His empire, once a lone warrior's dream, now stood as a radiant testament to his perseverance and adaptability. Atil's tale, etched into the sprawling kingdom's every brick, became a living proof that in the face of immense odds, a man's will could birth an empire. The triumphant whispers on the winds echoed from ashes to splendor. Look how far we've come. The passage of time brought about a transformation in Attil's role. From the lone warrior who wielded a sword on the battlefield, he evolved into the architect of societal change. The challenges he faced were not only external, but also internal, as the very fabric of his leadership adapted to the shifting sands of his people's needs. As Atil's empire continued to prosper, the city streets buzzed with life, markets flourished, cultural exchanges blossomed, and the once barren lands became a thriving hub of diversity. However, with prosperity came new challenges, envy, political rivalries, and the constant balancing act of maintaining the delicate equilibrium he had worked so hard to establish. Attil's leadership faced the ultimate litmus test as his closest allies, once staunch supporters, began to question the sustainability of his dream. The echoes of dissent grew louder, reverberating within the very foundations of the empire he had meticulously built. In the midst of these challenges, Atil's unwavering resolve faced its toughest trial yet. With the weight of expectations heavier than ever, Atil found himself grappling not only with external threats, but internal conflicts that threatened the unity of his empire. The intricacies of governing a thriving society demanded more than battlefield prowess. They required wisdom, diplomacy, and a profound understanding of the human heart. In the solitude of his chambers, Attil contemplated the delicate balance between power and humility. The decisions he made were not just about conquest and governance. They were about sustaining the spirit of the empire, nurturing the flame of hope that had guided him from the very beginning. The burning question lingered. Could an empire founded on the principles of justice and equality withstand the trials of time? As the shadows of doubt lengthened, Atil's leadership style evolved once again. No longer just a warrior or a statesman, he emerged as a sage, drawing on the collective wisdom of his advisors and the lessons learned from the myriad challenges he faced. His once bright amber eyes, now weathered by experience, retained a glint of determination that had not dimmed with the passage of years. The climax of Attil's journey approached, not on the battlefield where swords clashed, but in the hearts and minds of his people. The legacy he sought to leave behind was not just a kingdom of stone and mortar, but a realm where ideals endured. His people, once subjects, had become citizens, active participants in the destiny of their collective home. And so, the tale of Atil the indomitable dreamer, continued to unfold, a narrative woven into the very fabric of his empire, into the streets he had once paved with his own sweat and blood. The once barren lands now teemed with life, and the winds that carried whispers carried tales of a leader whose vision transcended the limitations of his time. As the sun set on another chapter of Attil's reign, the radiant glow of his empire persisted testament to the enduring legacy of a man who had transformed aspirations into reality. The winds whispered once more, from ashes to splendor, 
behold the empire that endures.